Executive Director of Women for Action, Managing Editor of Women for Action Magazine. This is a book response on So You Want to Talk About Race by Ujima Oluo. Not everyone is going to like this book because race is an uncomfortable subject. And the author does not sugarcoat the words in this book so it'll go down sweeter. In fact, when we talk about race, it is tied to layers of an ugly truth. But to get to a place of unity and equity, we must be willing and open to hearing the cries of those who are oppressed, even if we don't agree or if the words seem too bitter. Race has a long-standing history and is tied to both sanctioning and excluding people. To understand its impact is to know what racism is. In my opinion, So You Want to Talk About Race is a Bible to understanding race and racism today. If you want to have a serious conversation or if you want to take that knowledge and be able to educate others, it provides a comprehensive overview on topics such as privilege, intersectionality, sexual harassment, affirmative action, racial slurs, microaggressions, cultural appreciation versus cultural appropriation, and the model minority myth, which has been tied to excluding Asian Americans basically labeling Asian Americans the model minority group has not been doing them any favors. Oluo is a biracial woman who extracts experiences from her life to explain some of the everyday challenges of a person of color. From initially discussing a sometimes difficult relationship with her white mother to being a single black woman raising a child and having a hard work ethic, yet being passed over for opportunities because she's female while black. In spite of these challenges, Oluo discusses that she's benefited and been awarded opportunities from the same systems that shut out so many others. You're either gonna love or hate this book because Oluo is known for her boldness and bravery. And that's what I like about it. I feel it's honest and it calls attention to some of the most pressing issues of our day. I think this book is great for classrooms, social justice advocates, those who are in leadership. And if you feel that racism no longer exists, read this book before you formulate an opinion and think critically, and also fact check. Thank you for watching.